Today is Saturday of the 11th week in Ordinary Time. O oh Lord, hear my voice, for I have called to you. Be my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O oh God, my Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us prepare ourselves, our hearts, to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us bring our sins into the presence of the Lord, knowing that he's merciful and gentle. He will forgive us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And we pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, Graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I must boast. Not that it is profitable, but I, I will go on to visions and revelations of the Lord. I know a man in Christ who, 14 years ago, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, God knows, was caught up to the third heaven. And I know that this man, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know, God knows, was caught up into paradise and heard ineffable things which no one may utter. About this man, I will boast. But about myself, I will not boast, except about my weaknesses. Although if I sh should wish to boast, I would not be foolish, for I would be telling the truth. But I refrain so that no one may think more of me than what he sees in me or hears from me because of the abundance of the revelations. Therefore, that I might not become too elated, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, an angel of Satan to beat me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I begged the Lord about this, that it might leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. For power is made perfect in weaknesses. I will rather boast most gladly of my weaknesses in order that the power of Christ may dwell with me. Therefore, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, 
persecutions and constraints for the sake of Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's response. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste, Taste and, and see, see the, the goodness, goodness of, of the Lord. Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps and camps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste, Taste and, and see, see the goodness, goodness of, the of the Lord. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. Taste, Taste and, and see, see the, goodness the goodness of the, of the Lord. Lord. Come, children, hear me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Which of you desires life and takes delight in prosperous days? Taste, Taste and, and see, see the, goodness the goodness of the, of Lord. the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, No one can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. It is not, li it is, is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing. Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap. They gather nothing into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are not you more important than they? Can any of you by worrying add a single moment to your lifespan? Why are you anxious about clothes? Learn from the way the wildflowers grow. They do not work or spin. But I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was clothed like one of them. If God so clothed the grass end of the field, which grows today and is thrown into the oven tomorrow, will he not much more provide for you, O oh, you of little faith? So do, do not worry and say, what are we to eat? Or what are we to drink? What are we to wear? All these things the pagans seek. Your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient for a day it's its own evil. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Pope Francis was speaking last week uh, about frail priests, priests that are not the superheroes, uh, those priests that are almost trying to look uh, overpowerful, uh, the best preachers here and there, and trying to do beautiful things. Yes, that's wonderful, but sometimes they are bottling up their weaknesses, trying to look overpowerful. 
And Pope Francis was saying, you know, problems can arise from that. I want weak priests, priests that are a bit frail and speak about it so that we can all heal and support our priest also, including myself. But that's something very beautiful because we all know we have shortcomings. We all have weaknesses in ourselves, but we are all depending on the same grace of God. That the beautiful reading is, this is formation to the disciples specifically, but is very, very powerful. And it challenges the faith it challenges in whom you're really believing. That's why Paul is a very beautiful example of that weakness in those ministers of the word. And he's not confusing that weakness with not being worthy. He understands, I will boast, but I will boast on my weaknesses because I see the power of God there. And he tells the story of, I was too proud and a thorn in the flesh I had, he says. And I asked God three times. Three times means I've been praying for this, for him to take it away. And the Lord tells him, my grace suffices. And then Paul realizes, yes, when I'm weak, when I feel weak, when I'm conscious of my weaknesses, I can see the power of God, the grace of God overpowering that. And so I become an example. Why is that good for us priests, for everyone listening right now and celebrating with us this Eucharist? We cannot avoid life. We cannot just cancel or be blocked because you're sick today and think that maybe God doesn't love you because you're sick. Some people began to doubt and say, God is an angry God. Why did he send the pandemic? God doesn't do things like that. He's not sitting down on a couch all angry at humanity and say, what am I going to do to them? No. Jesus is, gives us the beauty, beautiful profile of the Father, a loving Father. Pandemics happen, and we make mistakes. We sometimes don't know how to drive, and there are accidents, and we have to assume what is of our responsibility in it and you'll find grace there. If we begin to deny our responsibility, our weaknesses, there's something we did not cross over. And it's in our weaknesses that God will show that he's stronger in you, in me. That's why the gospel started. You cannot have two masters. When you begin to deny things in yourself and just cover your eyes, ignore, pretend uh, you're carrying too many things on top of you, and that becomes your Lord. And so you will be divided. You will pray to God, but also you will be uh, overburdened more with the explanation of the gospel when then financial, political, when my ideas, what I want, what people are selling me, to me, or all the ideas in this world they will also take a toll. And he's saying, take your distance from everything and set your eyes on the Lord. Pray and give all those burdens that you have, all those things that you feel that are big, big for you, place them at the foot of the cross. And so you will know that Jesus takes all, that, all those things. Well, for us then, it is be healed, God is with you. Don't be ashamed of being weak today, of feeling frail. Give thanks, because today you need help of the Lord. In every stage of our life, in every moment of who we are, we are better with him. So today in the Eucharist, whether it is spiritually or physically, that we can tell the Lord, I'm hungry for you and to have a complete life, a full life, despite whatever can come to me. I need you. With you, I can do all things because you're my strength.
With confidence now, let us bring our prayers and intentions into the hands of the Lord. That God's people may not be led astray by a false gospel, we pray. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That pastors and preachers may be filled with knowledge of God's word, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the world's people turn away from those who offer easy answers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those with authority may seek the common good of those whom they serve, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the needs of the poor and sick may be first in church and society, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may boast not in ourselves, but in Christ alone, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And that the dead may find welcome among the faithful departed, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of mercy, receive these intentions into your hands. We present them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food, and renewing us with your sacrament. Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all creatures serve you and praise you. And we join the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth, earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time when he was betrayed, 
and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we, we eat, eat this, this bread and, and drink, drink this cup, cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection of, of you, we offer you, Lord, the, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, so that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, Saint John Eudes, Saint Patrick, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And following the divine command of our brother Jesus Christ, together we dare to say, Our, our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the and glory, glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. O 
Holy Father, keep in your name those you have given me, that they may be one as we are one, says the Lord. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.